Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's almost lunchtime here. It's also raining here. This is like a therapy session for me. I'm just ranting, but also serving warning to anyone who, who may have encountered me, whether it be in real life or virtually. When I say that I see you, I see you. And I might give one chance, I might give two, but I don't do the, the third chance thing. That's, that's not my ministry. It's not. I didn't believe people when they said you were a snake. But a snake is exactly what you are. I thank God that I listen more than I speak and I watch. Not only do I watch, I pray because I don't never want to think negative about anyone, but some people are just who they are. They just either love them or hate them. I'm a type of person. There is no in between with me. You either like me or you hate me. I'm going to make sure that you choose. But when grown people try to make me choose one person over the other, uh, Patricia is always going to choose Patricia because I always guard my peace. I see people with plenty of potential, but I also see people who constantly get in their own way. They get in their own way because they want to take shortcuts. Sometimes there's nothing wrong with sitting out drama. You don't have to add your two cents. You can wait till something is over. And then you can give your assessment of what you feel the situation is. What I find funny in real life, and I'm talking about real life right now, is how you have people that really crawl all up in your butt trying to get close to you. But they're not getting close to you because they want to learn from you. They get close to you to try to get dirt on you. And then when they feel like the time is opportune, they try to harp on that or hop on it. And they try to get to the next person. I guess to spill your tea or, you know, deliver dirt because they want to be where you are. My Therapy Tuesday is stay in your lane. Like I said on yesterday, whatever God has for you, you're not going to have to cheat to get it. Um, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. So if you have nothing to add to the conversation, but you want to insert yourself because you want to say, I'm still here. You know, I see a lot of people like that. And they slick shade other people. I see all of that. Stop it. It's really not a good look because your day is coming. Your day is coming when no one will want to listen to your BS because they, they see you coming. They see you coming and they're not going to want to be bothered. And then the people that you brag on that are in your corner, they're going to go away too. Everybody loves a train wreck. I mean, that's just a fact of life. But when they keep seeing the same patterns or whatever, and when you're not mindful of your audience and when you don't take into consideration what people that actually support you might be truly interested in, slowly but surely they fade away. See, I don't do no great big announcements like, I'm leaving this, or I'm leaving that. That's not me, I just leave. Do I talk about the people that I've associated with? No, I don't. But if I hear they've been talking about me and trying to um, cast aspersions upon my name, oh, I'll get you all the way together because, you know, I ain't, I've not reached perfection yet. I've always been petty. Now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I love Jesus, but I'm petty, petty, petty. And um, maybe one day deliverance from that will come, will fully come, and I won't feel the need to do that. So I say best. If you know me, you know me. If you, I'm going to make sure you either love me or hate me, but there won't be that in between. You ain't got to worry about straddling the fence. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Not with me. 
That's how I am everywhere I go. And everywhere you go, you take you with you. If you're messy, if you are two-faced, if you are a backstabber, that's you. That's, that's your nature. And I've seen a lot of two-faced backstabbers. And I don't, I don't deal with them. I have no conversations with those type of people. Because I'm trying to see what God sees in you. But I ain't God. Anyway, you enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. I'm going to enjoy mine.